Welcome back to Action Talk. I'm Scott Action Jackson, and Super 7 is at it again by releasing a third wave, or revealing a third wave for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates. So, let's hop in and check these guys out. Because right off the bat, guess what? Blue Ranger. Black Ranger, the Megazord, Finster, Lord Zed, and, and, there's also Zed's throne in this wave. So we'll attack this one folder, one character at a time. We'll start with the Black Ranger. And as you can see by the picture... You have two different, well, two different heads for the Black Ranger, and you have the option for the Dragon Shield Black Ranger as well, because you got the shield itself, and the arms that also have the little uh, bicep part, part from the Dragon Shield. But I like the fact that we actually have both Zack and Adam head heads for the Black Ranger figure. Now, as per usual, all kinds of different accessories, different guns, weapons, the power axe, I guess the original style of weapons that was in the original what uh, flip head ones and stuff like that. And as per usual, additional hands, the power morpher, the power gem, coin gem thing. I don't know what this little weapon on the far right is. It just looks like some weird um t-shirt shooter. <laughs> so that was a Black Ranger. Oh, hold on. Let's look at the other things. I forgot about this. Okay. So here's the initial concept of the box with the figure and its stuff in it. Mastodon on the back. Here's the little action pose with his power axe. Next we go to the Blue Ranger. And on this one, I it's safe to assume that it's Billy, like, kind of the original season one Billy, and then the very final Billy head. And once again, we get the different weapons, different hands. Uh, I don't know what this weapon is here. This must have been during the later seasons. Uh, here's the original... Blue Ranger weapons. Um, I think he has a power staff that can be broken up, if I remember right. But yeah, once again, more for uh, power crystal coin. Next. And concept box for the figure and stuff. Triceratops on the back. Action pose. There's the Blue Ranger. Here's a look at Finster. And I know the the Hasbro Lightning Collection recently released a Finster figure. In which case, I'm kind of curious how this compares to that. Because technically none of these waves of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures have actually been released yet even though they're on their third wave of pre-orders. But it would be nice to actually compare the Super 7 Mighty Morphin figures to the Hasbro Lightning Collection ones. But yeah, we got Finster, his additional hands, uh, his clay-making tool, a necklace thing, and the different little putty clay figurines. 
because I think I see the Sphinx one and the uh, pig, the big eating pig one, and numerous putty putty ones. Here's the box that it sh should be coming in, at least as far as now. Uh, Finster, pictured on the back. Here he is on his, uh, working on a putty thing. And it's weird. It, is it me or are those ones behind him a di different color? Because they look like a different color. Yeah, they do. That's weird. And the little putty making machine behind him. Lord Zed. Here we go. Now, this is an interesting one that I w would like to see a comparison shot when it's released of the Super 7 Lord Zed compared to the Lightning Collection one that did come out. So we have two heads, which. I don't really see a difference in. So why the hell are there two heads for Lord Zed? Unless one's supposed to light up and one isn't? I have no clue. Then he's got his little uh, Z staff here. He's got a snake. Additional hands. These uh, monster grow balls. That just sounds weird. Next, here's the package. Next, and Lord Zed's face head picture on the back. Yep, here is in his uh one of his first appearance poses, I guess. Yep. The Megazord, our Megazord, when it was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord, and then. Megazord, interesting. Uh, some additional hands. Because the initial ones are just closed fists, and the other ones are open ones to put the sword in. We got the mammoth shield. Uh, got a coin down here that has all the prehistoric creatures. And what the fuck? These just look weird. I remember when we saw the ones that came with the previous uh, Zords, and they looked this weird too. That that just doesn't look right. I mean, once again, I hope the final product does look a little better, or a lot better, I should say. I mean, are are they, are they supposed to look that bad from a far away distance? It's like, hey, high five. No? Okay. So yeah, the Megazord itself looks interesting. And if I remember right, the Megazord figure itself is going to be about 8 inches tall compared to the figures which are about 6. Next. Here's the packaging. Yep, here's that coin image for all the Prehistoric. Next. A little pose. And the Zed Throne. Alright, here's the throne for Lord Zed, at least for the Super 7 route. Big old Z on the back. Lord Zed's throne. So it's sitting in it with this thing and other thing. Now what I find interesting about this is uh, with the pre-order for just the throne is about, I think, $40. But the price on the Megazord is, I think, $60. And of course the figures themselves are the usual 50-some dollars. And once again, Super 7 
gives us a shit ton of accessories for each figure. Although I still don't quite understand the point of the additional Zed head helmet thing. And I know I've seen people online talk about how, you know, you don't really need this uh, Zed throne. You could just get somebody on uh, Etsy to make one, to like, you know, 3D print one. Especially people are wondering how this throne will actually compare to, say, the Lightning Collection Hasbro Lord Zed. And to be honest, no clue. No clue, because uh, one Etsy source that has a version of the Lord Zed throne apparently also has a throne for Rita as well. Which, it's like, okay, that's interesting. But I think the Etsy stuff also has, like, you know, uh, the throne and a base for the throne as well. So that might be why it's. I don't know, it might, might be interesting to just go this route. But yeah. Megazord, Throne, Lord Zed, Finster, the Black Ranger, the Blue Ranger. And since the Megazord comes with what I'm guessing is the pink and yellow ranger, because the yellow looks a bit off color, and we had the, the Tyrannosaurus Zord that came with a red figure, and we had a Dragon Zord that came with the green figure, there has to be one other kind of Megazord thing that would include the blue and black little figurines with the Megazord. But what other figure would there be unless they went the Thunder route? The Thunder Megazord. Because if they go that route, we could have a Megazord figure for uh, the White Tiger Zord in fighting mode. And, of course, if we go that route, they could also dip into uh, Rita's brother, Rito, and uh, Master Vile. I mean, with with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers route, there's a lot of material that they can make figures based on. I mean, probably more so than the Lightning Collection is even pumping out, because... The Lightning Collection has been dipping into other Power Rangers, not just Mighty Morphin. Even though Mighty Morphin could probably be their biggest cash cow, because they could even cover the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Since they're, you know, they're starting the Ninja Rangers from that, that era and that one time frame of the Mighty Morphin season as well. So, I mean, they could go that route and get, like, their, uh, the actual uh, movie design of the Power Rangers suits. How it looked more uh, more armored, flexible armored. But, yeah, th this has just been me sharing this. And this is currently up on pre-order on Super 7's website, if you want to go check, that, check it out. Uh... I just wonder at this rate how long until wave 4 on top of what they might include in wave 4 because as far as rangers themselves I don't know what's really left I mean aside from the white ranger maybe White Ranger Tommy that we got. Because I think... I think we got the pink and yellow in one of the waves already. I think we got a red. I think we got Green Ranger. I don't know. I'd had to look back. Hold on. Let me, let me go check to see if I still have that or not. Uh... I might still have the pictures. Uh, let me see. Um, here's wave two. 
What was in wave two? Okay, wave two had pink and red. Wave one had green and yellow. So yeah, uh, the only thing left would be the White Ranger. Uh, as far as the actual Rangers for the next wave, unless they, unless they dip into the Alien Rangers, which were kind of part of the Mighty Morphin era-ish, but. But yeah, like like I said, that was just me sharing this with you and um, giving my opinions on them. Uh, I I think it'd be an excellent addition to those who are getting the waves of the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimate figures through Super Seven, and the throne itself would probably be handy for those interested in that for the Lord Zed figure that came out for the Lightning Collection. And I know I haven't really done that many videos <laughs> in a long while. I, I have many plans, many ideas, and many videos I want to try and spit out. It just takes a while to do this. So if you can, please bear with me. I got some I want to do and put out right, aw right away. Well, soon, right away, when I have the time. 